Today on GoTech Geek, we will be looking at this smart robotic sweeper. This is a really cool robotic sweeper. Out of the box, it comes with the, the robot itself. It comes with a remote control, a charging dock, um, a couple extra sweeping brushes, and it also comes with a cleaning base and two pads. I think the cleaning base is pretty easy to use. You can just fill the thing with some hot water. The pads stay on using Velcro, which is pretty nice. Uh, when you put it on, make sure to slide it all the way on. I had it come off a couple times just because I didn't have it on the all the way. It's a bit tricky, but uh, once it's on securely, it works quite well. I'd say it's not really as good as a mop, but it gets most things as long as they're not like too dry or hard on the floor. So one thing to keep in mind with this robot is it it's more like a sweeper and not so much a vacuum cleaner. It does not have rolling brushes. It just has these rotating brush things that actually push dirt into the robot itself. And it also has some suction as well. So really this works best on hard floors or really short carpet or rugs or something like that. It does not really work on plush or shag carpet very well. When I use this, I like to empty the dirt compartment first. It it does pick up a lot of stuff, so it's good to empty this regularly. The main thing I like to use this for is I have a one-year-old son and he's really messy around his high chair. We feed him crackers and whole wheat bread quite a bit and, you know, he'll eat part of it and throw the rest on the ground and basically just make a really big mess around where he is. So one nice thing I can do is I just turn on this uh, robot sweeper when I'm washing the dishes or doing something else and it actually picks up all of his mess. So it's really nice. So it saves me some time from having to manually clean up after my son. The remote control that this comes with adds some additional features that are kind of nice. You can use the remote control to turn the robot on. You can also use it to return the robot to the dock so it will start charging. Uh, you can also change the pattern that the robot goes in. Personally, I prefer using the swirling pattern. This works well in areas with like high concentration of food or dirt. So like I said, around my son's high chair, if I remove the high chair and just put it on the swirling pattern, it'll pick everything up actually quite quickly. You can also use the remote control to control the robot kind of like a toy you can do everything manually this might be fun if you have like a child who wants to just play with the remote control and pick up dirt so overall i think this is actually a pretty good sweeper as a sweeper like i mentioned before it's not really so much a vacuum cleaner as it is a sweeper it works really well in small rooms uh i always have it in my kitchen. I think it works best in my kitchen. One feature that it lacks that I really wish it had was invisible walls. Uh, but for me, I just kind of place chairs where I don't want the robot to go and that seems to work fine. I'm really quite happy with it. I think it's a lot of fun and it saves me some time from having to clean up after my son or other messes that happen in the kitchen.